now ask most people about the UK's place in the space race, and they'll probably say we don't have one. Yeah, the last project to capture the public's imagination was the Beagle 2, an unmanned spacecraft designed to land on Mars, but which vanished without a trace on Christmas Day back in 2003. But now Britain's going back to the final frontier with the official launch this week of the UK Space Agency. This was the UK's first and last homegrown satellite launch. Prospero sent up into orbit in 1971. But even as it fired off, the launch projects were being cancelled, burning through too much money. Four decades on, this might not look like mission control, but Swindon is now home to a brand new British space programme. But even as it opens, Swindon may have a problem. I mean, we don't have as much money overall, but what we, the bang for the buck that we get uh, is outstanding. So we're leaders in, in areas of planetary exploration. You know, there's British space technology in orbit around Mars and Venus. NASA has the biggest of all space budgets. France and Germany's are both booming. Britain's new agency, though, blasts off with a fraction of their firepower. The time delay between Earth and Mars is, is something like... Uh, 20 minutes in each direction in the worst case. Bruno here is one of those projects. Destined for Mars in 2018, the driving system and the eyes being designed here. Even the mighty NASA has realised that these days success in space means international cooperation. Why? Money. The budget for a rover here like Bruno begins at 250 million euros. Since that Prospero project in the 70s, our launches, landers and rovers have been done on a shoestring. Eight years ago, Beagle 2 fitted in a trolley. Now, though, scientists say it's time to pick up the UK programme, taking one small step in Swindon to put Britain back in the space race. Andrew Plant, BBC News, Swindon. Well, just